Hi guys, Nautic here and today we're going to do a build video actually. We're going to build a 2000 euro video editing rig for a family member with the parts that I have right here. So uh, Stefan's uncle contacted us like a week ago and said that you know, you know what people usually say, can you please add some RAM to my PC because it's feeling a bit sluggish lately. And then we realized it's actually a first generation of Intel Core i7 CPUs and we managed to talk him into just investing a bit and making a whole new rig. Now this machine is going to be great for video editing now, even if he goes to 4K videos and it's going to be great for years to come as well. So I'm going to talk about all these parts separately and why I chose them specifically. Then we're gonna build a PC and and then we're gonna test it and see how it actually performs. I don't have a Swiss Army knife with the hope that there is a screwdriver inside. I actually do have a proper screwdriver set and I'm full of uh, anti-static bracelets. So I think I'm ready to go. Let's go. This video is brought to you by Asus and their ROG SCAR 3 gaming laptop. The SCAR 3 comes with a 6-core Intel Core i7 CPU, a proper RTX 2070 graphics card, and a stunning 240Hz IPS panel, giving you that fantastic gaming experience. And then all that at a reasonable price. Check it out using the links in the description below. So I'm going to start with the choice of uh, the case here, and uh, my choice was Fractal Meshify C Mini. Now, Stefan's uncle is going to put this uh, PC in a cabinet next to his desk. The cabinet is going to be open on the front and in the back, so there is plenty of airflow. It's not going to be stuffed inside, but there is a height requirement. So any ATX case was out of the question. And this uh, MATX case is going to fit perfectly. Other than that, this case has very good airflow. It is actually very pretty. It's very elegant. It has nice design. It has great build quality. The price range is also acceptable. It's around 90 euros. There is enough space for a couple of SSDs and a couple of hard drives. Uh, the only thing is that it comes with two fans only, one in the front, one in the back. And I'm going to move the back fan to the front so it has two nice little intake fans. And I'm going to add a Noctua fan in the back to match the Noctua cooler that I'll be using. Now for the heart of the PC, I went for the Intel Core i9 9900 that I have right here. Now I know that's a bit of an unpopular choice at the moment and I have to say kudos to AMD for absolutely crushing the CPU market in the last year, but there are actually two reasons why I went for Intel in this case. Now, the first one is that Stefan's uncle only only works in Adobe Premiere and uh, it's actually has been proven that Intel Core 9900K is a bit faster in most in application cases, so while using the applications than the Ryzen 9 3900X. Now the pure exporting speed is going to be faster with the Ryzen 9, but uh, in my experience, it is more important to have a smoother experience while working in a program than uh, it lasting five minutes longer when exporting, when you're just gonna click the export button, go drink coffee and whether it's five minutes more or less, it doesn't really matter. Now, the 3950X would have been a bit faster in the in-application use as well, but that CPU is 200 euros more expensive, so it just was not worth the investment in this case. For some more information about pure performance numbers between the uh, i9-9900K and the 3900X, uh, there's a great article that I found uh, on uh, Puget Systems, so I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below if you wanna go and check that out. Now the second reason is a bit of a subjective one and that is that people usually want to go for what they know. So even if uh, the 3950X was within the budget, he would still go for Intel and uh, you do have to respect choices like that, especially when the choice is actually quite good. Now this CPU is going to go into the MSI Z390M uh, Gaming Edge motherboard that I have right here. Uh, this uh, motherboard is a great fit. Keep in mind it's actually quite hard to find that many MATX motherboards so the choice is actually not that hard like if you would have a million normal ATX motherboards to choose from. This motherboard is uh, very pretty sue me for saying that, but it is. It has decent VRMs that are, can handle a nice little light overclock. Uh, it has a nice audio chip, uh, which has an optical out because uh, Stefan's uncle does use an external receiver. And uh, yeah, it's going to fit the build really well. So it was actually a very 
easy choice to make. Now for the CPU cooler, I am going to use the Noctua U12S that I have right here. And I was thinking of what reasons to say, but it's Noctua and it's beautiful and black, so obvious choice. For the RAM, I'm going to use Corsair LPX modules. Uh, there's 32 gigabytes, there are four modules, they're gonna fit the system really well. And from experience, this uh, Corsair LPX memory works great with pretty much every system we built so far. We use them a lot here in the office, so that was also very obvious and easy choice to make. Now, when it comes to the GPU choice, um, even though, again, AMD has been doing great, uh, being very competitive at the GPU market uh, when it comes to editing in uh, Adobe Premiere, NVIDIA architecture just seems to work a bit nicer. Now, for a video editing rig, uh, if you're just gonna do some cut and paste, you don't really need a GPU, but you do need it if you're going to add some effects and use effects in Adobe Premiere. So, you don't need a beefy one, but a nice mid-range one, like a 2060 Super that I've chosen right here, uh, is a very decent choice. Now, I went for the MSI Gaming X in this case first, because it looks really nice, it goes really well with the system that I'm building, it actually performs really well, it has a nice factory overclock, and it's actually quite quiet, which is also important, especially when used in the office environment. Now, for the storage, this is actually interesting. Well, first, I wanted to go for the ADATA's uh, NVMe SSDs, the SX8200 Pro that I have right here, so I did order it. Why I wanted to go for this one is that it's supposed to be half the price of the 970 Pro, but the same speed. And unfortunately, that was not the case because uh, this SSD was actually underperforming. I was testing it because I actually wanted to do a separate review of this SSD because it does really sound super interesting, but uh, it was actually getting stuck into X2 instead of X4 mode and it was doing only uh, 1600 megabytes instead of 3500 that they promised. So instead of this uh, ADATA um, 8200 Pro, I went for the tested and trusted Samsung Evo Plus. I have two here. One is a two terabyte one, which is going to be a scratch drive, and one is a small uh, 256 gigabyte one just for the system installation. Yeah, so we're gonna go with that. For the PSU, I went for the Seasonic PSU as always because uh, the quality is great, uh, the performance is great. It has fan stop at low loads, it is very quiet under heavy loads actually, and it has a nice 10 year warranty. And 550 watts is going to be plenty for this system. So yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything that I have here, I don't think I forgot anything. So yeah, let's get to building, let's go. Thank you. 
So I'm uh, just running Cinebench here and as you can see the build is performing as you would expect from an Intel Core i9 9900K build. Uh, 4853 is a good score. I might overclock it a bit just so it reaches 5000 though, but this is just without an overclock. The same goes for Blender. 2 minutes 53 seconds for the BMW benchmark is what you would expect without any specific tuning done. Okay, so that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this build video. Uh, I think it came out really well. I think it looks pretty sleek. I think it performs really well and it's pretty much as expected. But I do want to know what you guys think and what you would do differently. So don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any feedback on a, a video editing build video or build PC like this. Now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video and see you in the next one. Bye.